day, this is Michael with Iconosys. Today I'll be doing a quick overview of the features and functionality of our newest software product called Shutterstream 360 Captureless. Um, basically what this is, is the entire Shutterstream 360 software without any camera control. It's great for users who already have a means to capture efficiently their 360 product images and are just looking for a, uh, a software that can batch edit, batch process, and create the high quality 360 interactive product views. Um, I've shot a set of 36 frames. We can see images 1 through 36. Um, just pulled those off my SD card. And what I'm going to do is I want to import these into the Shutterstream uh, 360 software. So I'm going to go to my options area and I'm going to choose import directory. We will select that folder and sample 360 images. I will select folder. And what that's going to do in a batch process is uh, just import that set of images into the software. Now, as we can see, these images were uploaded into the thumbnail gallery. <clears throat> we can view each one of these images just to make sure that, uh, you know, for quality, you can inspect, look at the images one to one, etc. Um, we do have all the metadata up here in the top left hand corner. Uh, that's just pulled directly from your camera, so you can see all the information at what the camera was shot at. Um, I'm going to select all my Im images using the batch select tool. I'll enter into your editing area. So the first thing that we're going to see here, um, just when shooting jeweler, I'd actually just covered up my camera lens with a big white piece of paper just to minimize reflections. So I probably want to go ahead and crop these. So what I'm going to do is use the view alignment tool. And um, so I'll select that. And what that's going to do is, as you can see here, uh, use all of our 36 images and just put them one over top of another. So what essentially we can do here is view this and um, we're going to see where the object moves as it turns 360 and we can define our crop area over top of that directly. So I can go and say, let's crop it at about here. And I can also crop at a perfect ratio. Uh, maybe that's, you know, I need eight by three images or, you know, 800 by 300 or a perfect square. I can define my crop in a custom ratio if required or at a perfect square. Um, I won't do that for the purpose of this demo. So um, again, all we're going to do here is just pre-crop our subject and it looks pretty good there. I'll hit the apply to all button. Now as you can see with the thumbnails it is uh, showing us um, the images as they're being cropped. So again it's doing that in a batch process directly. Uh, very fast, very efficient for um, you know for the batch cropping. And now that we've completed our cropping of our images, again, we can go and inspect these one at a time should it be required. Um, let's go and select our first image. Now what we want to do is just make some editing adjustments. I've got my RGB color picker tool up here, and if you look up where my mouse is highlighting, we're going to see that we're not quite at a pure white background. So maybe what we want to do is make some adjustments here. And um, let's make some maybe a small saturation adjustment here. Um, we're going to add just a tiny tad bit of contrast. We'll increase our sharpness and maybe we'll do a little color correction with our hue. It looks pretty good right there. Probably about right there is good. We can also choose our color temperature and tint. Um, and we've also got our levels tool. So I'm just going to make this a pure white background using our levels tool. And after that looks good, after we've edited our image, I'm actually going to hit the apply to all button. And what that's going to do in a batch process is race through and edit all 36 of my images in one click. Now, I didn't dive into the entire list of our uh, image editing tools. We've got some great uh, background removal features, um, you know, manual cutout tools. So it's a, a very... Uh, it's uh, a very good image editing um, functionality inside of this software that uh, really should be all the tools that you require to get your web ready images for obviously your 360 product view. So um, it all looks good there. We've just applied our edits to our entire set of images. Now what I want to do is save out these images. So I'm just going to give this a name here. I'll just call this uh, Ring 360. It's going to batch rename 01 through 36. You can also choose to resize if required. So I can say I want all these images output at 1200 pixels wide. You can choose your resolution. You can watermark your images. Um, again, lots of functionality inside of here. We also have our dynamic save tool that I won't dive into too much. And we'd selected our save to location as this edit folder. So the nice thing about that, we're going to have access to all our individual frames as well. Should we maybe need to pull a few of these out? You can do that directly. Um, if required. 
And then our last step for creating our 360 product view will just be to open up the included 360 view creator software. And all we're going to do here is just drag and drop our 36 frames. And as you can see, we've just created an interactive 360 product view. Now these 360 product views are fully user interactive. So what I can uh, say here, you have full control of the rotation speed. You can speed it up, slow it down if required. Um, you can choose the output file size. Maybe it's something I want to include my original images and a zoom button here. I can do that. Let me just show you that example. There we go with our image zoom here, so I can actually go and view up close. You can set your zoom level. Um, we do have a lot of different player button types. You can even upload your own player buttons directly inside of here. Um, that would be install new theme. Uh, that would match the look and the feel of your website. Um, we do have a bunch of different player options, uh, as we can see here. And you do have some sensitivity adjustments for the mouse control left and right, as well as the mouse wheel zoom. And... Um, also the ability to create the multi-row 360 product views. From here, you're simply going to choose your output file type. There's four different file types, HTML5, animated GIF, interactive MP4, and MP4 video. Um, you can add a project title if you'd like to here. And then we will simply rename our uh, ring. So we'll call it ring-360. We'll choose to output locally, or else we can also upload directly to our 360 view server if you want this image hosted for you. And we'll just choose our output location again here. Um, we'll choose sample 360 images. And we'll hit save. And then we're on to uh, composing our next 360 product view. So with this solution, you're going to be able to create infinite 360 product views for the lifetime of your business. It's a one-time purchase. Very fast, very efficient, and very easy uh, to create the, you know, the, the, the product views as you do require. If you have any questions, let us know. The company name is Iconosys and we're available via phone or email, and all that information is on the contact form on our webpage. Thank you.